On top of that, kind of another layer of this is this extreme stewardship that's quite important in Surrey. There's a very strong stewardship uh, presence for a number of water courses, and that helps us move in a in direction to protect our water, protect our water courses. And people get quite involved with protecting the natural environment. And because of this, we were able to move to uh, uh, moving away from just piping everything and, and uh, discharging into creeks and impacting the creeks to understanding natural processing processes and protecting those water courses. So I think a lot of you know this and uh, you've seen some presentation on this, but it's, it's an evolution from the early 60s, mid 60s, but in the mid 1990s, there was a major shift in the Surrey area and lower mainland as well, where there was a lot more push in terms of sustainable development and so on. Um, Surrey was quite involved with that. Um, and, it, and it was consistent with their natural drainage policy. People were getting a better handle on where our, uh, how water courses were impacted by development, by impervious areas. Uh, different modeling techniques were being used, and um, and we were hoping to be able to to manage the impacts with kind of a one-off solution. And at that time, it was you know let's capture that first first inch of rain. We found that because of the varied geology and the varied watersheds in Surrey, we didn't really meet our objective in doing this. So we thought, okay, when we start looking at integrated stormwater management plans, we'd want to look at more detailed work. 